Hey, what's going on? It's a quick preview coming to you with my next video. So the build continues. Uh, in this video is my electronics. I'm going to go ahead and start off by installing my Spectrum steering servo on my FLM chassis. I got a few tags out here, some of the parts I'll be using in here. So uh, I'm going to start off by attaching actually the servo retainer arms onto the servo and then uh, I'll attach that to the top chassis plate. I'll get back to you as soon as that's attached. Alright, I got the servo attached to the upper chassis. So now, next thing to do will be to attach the the supports that uh, stand the upper chassis off the actual chassis itself. So let me get them attached and uh, then I'm also going to go ahead and put the steering bell cranks posts in as well. Let me get those on and then I'll get right back to you. Alright? Alright, as you can see I got the posts on and I also got the bell crank posts assembled or installed as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the bell crank. This is the FLM bell crank. One thing to note if you do plan on purchasing the FLM bell crank, they do sell it in two separate uh, parts. Uh, one is the actual bell crank itself and then you have to purchase the drag link separately. Um, so just keep that in mind. It does come with all its hardware, but I'm using the stainless steel, so I'll be replacing that. So let me get those uh, built, and then I'll also be dropping in the Acer ceramic bearings into there as well. So let me get those built, and I'll get right back to you. All right. Hey, what's going on? All right. So as you can see, I went ahead and attached the steering bell crank. Uh, I just want to say first off, there is absolutely no play, none whatsoever anywhere in this bell crank. Um, I take that back. I got the, I mean, the m absolute micro amount. I could, I could barely even feel it. Um, this is the STRC one here. Um, and I could, I could, I don't know if you can even tell, but yeah, there's, there's play in that one. There is absolutely no play in this, this one here. Um, awesome. So, so next, anyways, uh, I'm going to be attaching my upper battery support. This will be going on here. Getting two screws through here into the, I'm sorry, I got this upside down, into the upper plate. Uh, before I put those in, I'll have to use these. I bought these at uh, Lowe's, I believe. Either Lowe's or Home Depot, they got me either place. They're quarter inch aluminum, just sleeves, spacers. I'm going to put them in, in between the upper battery support and the upper chassis. Uh, so let me get that let me get that installed and I'll get right back to you alright so I got the upper battery support installed so now finally time to go ahead and slide it on onto the chassis here and then go ahead and attach the two screws here and the two screws from underneath to get that attached so let me get that attached and I'll be right back to you alright finally the servo is 100% installed 100% screwed down in the car. So next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and attach the front links. I know that has nothing to do with my electronics, but it has to be done and I couldn't do it until I put the servo in. So I'm gonna attach the front links and let me get back to you. Alright, I'm back. So now to install the heart, the ESC, yeah it goes right here. So I have to, as you see, I never put those, or I don't know if you can even see that, I never set those screws in all the way. So I'll pull those out. Those will go in there. These are the axial posts that I had, that I had to purchase for this project. Those will also go right there installed as well. So let me get these installed and let me get right back to you. All right. All right, so I got the ESC mounted. It's all secure. Uh, these, the two back screws are still loose because those also hold the cage in. I haven't got to the cage yet. So before I go ahead and put the motor in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop my receiver box in, which is right here. And uh, the way this sits, I don't know if you can even see that, I got a little gap right there. So again, got the little spacers to add in between basically they'll be going right there to just to take that space 
So let me get the receiver box set in there, and then I'll go ahead and drop in a. Let me get um. Let's see. Yeah, I'll drop one of my one of my Fly Sky receivers in there as well. So let me get that put in, and then I'll get right back to you. All right. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I got the receiver in place. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the Mamba motor in here. Let me go ahead and grab it. It's sitting right here. So, uh, yeah, I've been sitting here waiting to get, get used. So let me go ahead and get that put in, and then uh, and I'll also put the pinion on as well at the same time. So let me get that done, and I'll get right back to you. All right. All right, I'm back. As you see, the motor is installed. They got the 28 tooth pinion installed. They got a good meshing there. I'm real happy with that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And then uh, that's going to about do it for this video. This is the electronics. I know I said I was going to do four. It's going to end up being five videos. Sorry about that. Uh, next video is going to be actually finishing up the wiring because I got to install the cage before I put the wires through because they have to go actually go through the cage as well and then install hook them up get all these fed through the through the lid get them hooked up get the horn installed with the servo arm get the tires and put the body on then uh, got the final touch which is a little something special um, which you'll see will be the very last thing I do to the car before I get it back on the road again so, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright, talk to you later. Peace.